Ekwe me. Ekwe me. What, what, what is the meaning of all this? Have you, have, have you lost your mind? Oh, don't be you. But why is your house scattered like this? Don't be you, who do I? Not be only you, the house. No, madam. Which stupid madam are you talking about, Ekwe me? Oga, uh, uh, make you no verse. Oga, madam, came. And she scattered everything. She carried her hands, scattered everywhere, scatter, scatter, and she come out. Are you sure that you have not joined your fellow uh, uh, gatekeepers and gatemen to smoke Indian hemp and, and drink and, and use hard drugs? Are you sure, Equime? Oga, you know, see me, I know they smoke. I know they drink. I swear. Now, madam, okay, madam, now she come and carry her hands, they scatter, 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 scatter and come out. So because this Oga, madam, come and, and scatter everything, you don't leave it like this. I'm gonna clean, clean up this whole place before I, before I, before I lose my, my, temp, my, my temper. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. sorry for yourself. Have I offended to, to, to deserve this? Equal man and I are the only people in this house. Eh? What do I call this one now? What, what do I call this? What do I call this one now? Eh? Call it you. Mm. Ah. Just make everything look very natural. Ma, you didn't tell me you were coming. Eh. So that you give me one flimsy excuse not to come. Okay. And that's because every time you come, it's only one singular thing that you want to talk about. Okay. I'll still talk about it. This one I'm here, I will still talk about it. Donna, check yourself. Can I be a name of woman? By September now, you'll be 36 years old. Huh? Your father and I had you when I was 23. Your father was just 28. Why did we get married so early? Because your father understood what family meant. Is that why you've turned the house into a playground? Yes, yeah, so since there are no children, I want you to feel what children do at home. You forgot me, Anu? Ma, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I've had a long day. I, you know, it's been stressful at work. I just want to rest mm -hmm. and eat, okay? I, oh, mm. Unfortunately, I did not prepare anything because it is not my job. I'm just your mother. It's a wife's job. So, man, you didn't cook anything for, for, for your son to eat because it's, it's a wife's job? Yes. Okay, the car I do. Hey, Donald, this is long vacation. Other families have taken their children back to the villages to stay with their grandparents. You did not bring anybody, so I decided to come and do my own long back here. Ma, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not having this argument yeah, with you. Yeah, Donna! Donna! Who is that here? Ma, I'll tidy it later. Equipment will do it. Okay, Equipment will be If you're eating, let me come and give you coffee. You see, I need You will cook and get tired. Because you see, come here. You didn't see that. Good afternoon, ma. Benjamin. How are you? Okay, um, a certain young man is yet to see you. He said his name is Donald. Donald. Okay. Please tell him I'm coming. All right. Donald. Why is this young man stalking you? Donald, please. This is time for me to serve the Lord and not to keep or make boyfriends. 
Anyol, ekene, ekene, ekene o Oriana. What are you doing here? What else if not to see the woman I have always loved, even after the death of my dear wife? The same woman who I know has never bothered to give me a listening ear. Miss Mai, I have told you times without number that what you are requesting for cannot happen. Oma Minata, Mai, look at me. I'm not getting any younger. And I'm battling with monopause. Eh? What you are requesting for, I cannot do it. You have a beautiful daughter. Who is in here prime? Please, what are you still looking for? <sighs> Oriana, you know if you had given me a chance, that time you returned from Akure, eh? we would have been happily married. Yes. <laughs> Listen, Mazi, please, I'm begging you the name of God. Please, stop all this worded patronage. Biko, it was barely five months. Your late wife died when I returned. And I've already disclosed to you the incident that brought me home. And I was subjected to rejection and the covert. Hmm. Oriana, let me not go deep into cajoling you. But hear this from me. I still love you. If you had given me a chance, I tell you that by now we would have had a child together. Even a son for that matter. Yes. Amazi, a son? What of you your daughter? has already given you a child. What else are you still looking for? Oriana, I brought food. Please, accept this food as a sign of my love. Okay? Bikono. I will eat it. I've had it. <laughs> Huh? Please, can I continue with you? Well, no, why are you? Hoping that these gifts meet you well. I love you very much, Alabisi, and I'm willing to do anything for you. Please give me a chance. I promise you will not regret it. saying is that you should start going because my father will soon be back and he will not be happy to see you at home here. What you're doing is not fair. <sighs> I am ready and my king's men they are ready to do the needful on your head. 
If only you will accept to marry me. Chimese, hmm? you are a good man. But I've told you this time without number that I cannot marry you or anybody. I have promised my father and I swore to him in the presence of Osamalu, the goddess of fruitfulness, that I will not get married. I already told you that I will remain unmarried to conceive children in my father's house. And why will you make such a promise? My father is the only child of his parents. And I am the only child too. If I get married without doing the needful, my family's lineage will come to an end. And I love my father to reinstall his posterity. I understand you. Any man who loves me should be thinking of how to make me have children in my father's house. Not talking about marriage. God forbid. God forbid me plant my seed in another man's house. When I have my own quiver that should be full of my own children. Now you know that this cannot work. Can never happen. There is no point disturbing yourself on what cannot be. I'm sorry. Look at you. Okay, Chu. Okay, Chu, why are you going to? Okay, Chu, why are you doing this? Why can't you just understand? I don't even know how to feel about him. He's indeed a nice man and suitable for a husband. But. I don't know what is making me drag my feet from accepting his proposal. I came to this town for my youth service, not for a pleasure trip. Come on, Alabasi. Oh God. I hope this is not a sculpted distraction that will take me away from the fold of God's vineyard. God, please help me. So I was going to ask, um, I hope she didn't see you when you were dropping the, the gift. <laughs> no, of course not. I know both of you would be together. And I took advantage of the time you chatted me up. That the both of you went to get something at the restaurant to eat. Well, unfortunately, she refused to eat anything. She said that she was fasting and that she was only going to break her fast around 6 p.m. <laughs> but how do you intend to cope with that bibliographical, inclined woman of Christocentric order? Okay, Professor, calm down. Hmm? Lecturer. <laughs> So the thing is, uh, after I lost OG to that accident that almost claimed my life, I thought that I was never ever going to, I don't know, fall in love like that again. I thought it was, I was done. I was done. Until Olabisi came along, of course, and then I suddenly started realizing what was possible. The thing is, I think that Olabisi is the one. And I also, I think that my mother is going to approve of her, over all of those social media girls. Yeah, of course. But at least try taking her to at least see your mother. Oh, I definitely will. I definitely yeah. will. Good. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm.
Did he go, Papa? <sighs> um, as I was returning, I saw Chimezie on the road. From indications, I, I suspected he was coming from this our direction. What did he come to do? What else? If not to reinstate his desire to make me his wife. I already told him it's not possible. So why does he continue to pester you? Eh? I don't know. Why is it that some men cannot take no for an answer? I told his father once. I told him that my Oge Chuku cannot marry Chimezie. She has been prepared and preserved by the gods to give me the children my wife could not as a result of her premature death. Eh? Gent, if Chimezie likes you, if he loves you and likes your laps, let him come here, make friends with you. Then father children by you. For me, your father. Okay, say me. Father, civilization and modern day camouflage thefts have eaten this generation that they see our custom as obsolete. Trust me, Father. I promise to give birth to as many children you could not have due to mother's death. Okay? Mm. I promise ah. Ah. Anything for you, Father. Mom. Oh, yeah, can you put my coke to cool? Eh, well, oh, yeah, can you put my cake? Eh? I feel no god, ma. Hey! Eh, Kebia, no, no. Oh, yeah, Bia, no, no. Ah, for, but also, Mkwa. You know I love you and I will do anything for you. He said you can be dead. He said... Where is he first, Nachi? Um, she's not yet back, Papa. Um, yes, Papa. If uh, my food is ready, bring it by. I will eat here. Okay, Papa. Mm. Are you done with the couple of me? Mm, that is what I hear already. Okay. Just bring me. the food. Eh? All right, Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Papa. Hey, Adam Naya, Man Naya, he's a good man.
Yeah. Honestly, I'm about leaving the house right now, to be fair. Who be that? Who they knock? I beg wait to don't make my dog fight it for me. Anyway, How are you? I'm fine. Oh, um, you know what? Let me let me call you back shortly. Yes, I will call you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Well, look who it is, Ola Bisi herself. Ah uh, ah. Uh. It's good to see you. Are you kidding? Of course, I'm happy to see you. The dress looks. It's amazing on you. A very beautiful woman, you know. Thanks, Donald. You know what? Come in, come in, come in. Uh, um, equipment. Clean up my car, please. Eh? I'm going out later. I was going to talk to you about it, but I forgot. <laughs> wow! I can't believe you're actually in my house. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. <laughs> my friend. Stop being too hard on yourself. Don't you think that giving Mazi of Yadulu a chance in your life will not be a bad idea? At some point in life, one needs to have a feel of tenderness. Look at me now. I am married. I have children. I had bad experiences too. But I kept holding on due to the reason I loved my husband in the first place. You got married. You had feelings. You had your men broken and penetrated by a man you love. It was your wish. But look at me. My own was forcefully snatched out from me. Eh? My friend, I understand. I understand, but you don't need to be hard on yourself. Give yourself a life. No matter your age, you need to try and enjoy life. Eh? My dear, there is nothing to enjoy about this life. Please, can we not talk about this again? I don't believe that. Even if, if I will give emotions a space, not, not at this age now, look at me. I'm not getting any younger. I know. But some women, even older than you, have some men in their life. Please. Please. You need to understand. I'm not that kind of woman. Eh? I'm married to Jesus. C can't you understand? You need to understand what I'm saying. The same Jesus you divorced when you could not forgive yourself from the happening of fate. Eh? Please. Please. Please, can we just talk about another topic, please? Because I'm already, I'm already getting angry. Please. Oh, Let's just stop this so. topic, please. If you say so. It's just an advice from your friend. Biko. Bring another topic, please. Oh, I will. Biko, come on in. Donald. You see. There is something that makes me withhold myself from loving a man. But there's something different about you. Okay, um, please, I'm all ears. Tell me more. You're kind. You are gentle. You know the right approach to use on a woman whenever you're with her. And above all, you love the Lord. You see, you know, before now I thought that I'd seen everything that there was to see about love, and experienced it all. And then I met you. And I learned that, uh, yeah, the best was yet to come. I 
I love having you in my life. Having you around me. You're a very, very important part of my life. And if I had my way, I'll keep you around forever. You're a good man. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Hey, Mama, when I look at you, I see my flashback. <laughs> Just like ah. your father. All right. My own time. Night to pack them. Chop them. Until you them. And got married to me. Very good. <laughs> hey! Asam, you're beautiful. Thank you, Mommy. Get out, you're too fine. Hey! Get out. Come, 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 come inside. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hey, oh. come, my dear. Nay, I'm sick, Ellie. I'm sick, Ellie, mom. Well, why, 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 why? Hey, 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 mom. Hey, now you didn't tell me you were coming. As I said, ma, I wanted to surprise you. Big surprise, so come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, welcome, mom. Mommy, I want to ask you something. Go ahead, my daughter. Mother, why is it that you are my mother and your father is my father? Is it not supposed to be my grandfather? It's not good for someone to talk while eating. Anytime I ask you this question, you refuse to answer me. Why? Because you ask too many questions at the wrong time. Go ahead and eat your food. Ah, you first, Nachi. I had your question again. Hmm? See, my dear, there are certain things one may never know until one gets to a particular age. Hmm? Never mind. I will explain these things and every other thing pertaining to it in due time. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. Hmm. Are you happy? Eh? It's not on your face, so smile now and eat, enjoy your food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> hey, mm. I, I hope you're enjoying the food. Yes, Mama. It's very delicious. Oh. <laughs> Hey, my dear, tell me about yourself. <laughs> okay, Mama. My name is Olabisi Deborah Adogo. Olagine? Olabisi, Mama. I'm a Yoruba girl. Yoruba? Yes, please. From Ondo State. I'm a youth copper in the city and I am an only child. Turn out. Ma? So
the meaning of this nonsense now? Eh? Donald! What's the meaning? What nonsense are you talking about again? There's no way you will marry that girl. Makachuku, yeah, no, yeah. No, you are the one who has been on my neck this whole time to find somebody to get married to. Now, I found a girl that I'm in love with and you're saying all of this? The quiet, let me tell you something. Eh? There's no way our family will accept a Yoruba woman. No, 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 no. You cannot marry a Yoruba girl. Oh, why now? Why, why won't you just let me marry Olabisi? She's a nice girl from a really good Christian background. If she likes, let her be from a godly home or an Islamic background. The truth is that our family will never accept her. Here and nowhere. Not in my life, not on my death. Shalom Nuzo. Ma. Ma. Listen to me, Ogechi. I understand everything. But the truth remains that some traditions are quite obsolete. That I cannot stand the tide of this civilization. Lydia. I already swore to my father in the presence of Osomelu. But I will bear him children that he will replace with the unborn children. He never had. But you already have a face snatch now. If a snatchy. Is just a girl child. Huh. You and I know how important it is to have a male child who will stay in Nguru and protect longevity and procreation. That is where you got it all wrong. Eh? Whether male child or not, child is child. Let us stop getting trapped with some kind of traditions. What is wrong with you? Huh. Your nine years is important. And it's better for us to have a new child. Hey, I saw you there. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now you can tell me the reason for the urgency of this meeting. Uncle, it's my mother. Uh -huh. For a while now, she has been pushing and pushing and pushing me to go and get married, forcing me, you know, going on and on and on about it. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I meet a woman I fall in love with and I bring her home to introduce her to my mom. Yes. But my mom will neither approve of her nor even accept her. Saying that she can never be alive and watch me marry her. Uh, why? What's her reason for that? Uncle, that's why I'm here. Mm. I need you to speak with her. Okay. Talk to my mother. Find out what exactly it is the problem is. <clears throat> you know, she can't continue to insist that she wants me to get married and then refuse to, to approve of the, the woman that I choose to get married to. Okay, okay. I heard you. Hmm? Go home, my son. I will be in your house this evening to talk to your mother. And I believe she will tell me the reason for that. Hmm? Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. I really yeah, appreciate you, sir. Thank you. You will see me, eh? No Especially this evening. Um. <laughs> no, I'm driving. <laughs> All right. Hey. <clears throat> Galadina. Yeah? A stubborn woman, yeah? For one trouble to another, for one thing to the other, yeah? She was the one who asked her son to get a daughter in law for her. Now, she rejected the daughter in law on no cause. Well, <clears throat> this was, yeah. Uh, The person I'm coming to see. Are you you are going out? You are going out. Eh? 
know I have a routine of going to the church every evening to pray before the blessed sacraments. And that's why I came to church. Ah, uh, yes, it is true. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I brought you this. There are clothes inside. Of your Dulu, but I have told you to stop bringing me gifts now. Eh? <laughs> I have told you to stop. How can I stop bringing you gifts? Eh? Which lo lover ever does that? A lover must always bring gifts. Send gifts to his love. Eh? And uh, these ones are, are clothes. When you wear them, they will make you more beautiful. Hold it. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, maybe I I'll follow you go to church now. Hey. You teach me how to pray. Okay then. Let me, let me talk this to say that. Uh, okay. Hey. <laughs> Can I hold the Bible for you? I have said my own and my decision is final. I cannot have a Yoruba woman as a daughter-in-law. There's no way you can marry a woman from the West. I don't want to be in-laws within the Yoruba. No. Um, Garadine, I don't understand you sometimes. You have been the one disturbing this young man to marry and get to grandchildren. Now, he has made his choice. Yet, you don't want to approve it. Approve it? No, 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 no. Approve what? Why are you deceiving him? Why are you not telling him the truth? Let him know that it was a Yoruba man from a war. Sheyi Olusola that killed his father. Where are you? Uncle, what is she talking about? Well, um, it is a long story, my son. But your father died prematurely. It's a long story. Cut it short. Just let him know that Sheyi Olusola, a man from a war in Ondo State, masterminded the death of his father. He killed your father. Why am I just hearing this for the first time now? Now you know. You have heard it. You know why I don't want you to marry a Yoruba woman. Those people are very deceitful people. You cannot marry marry her. Um, Excuse me. See, I told you it is a long story. But don't mind. I will talk to your mother. Mm? Everything will be okay. Oh, mm? This is not long. I could have I could have been told this a, a long time ago. No longer a child, for goodness sake. It's okay. It's okay. Mm? It's okay. I will talk to your mother later on. Mm? This relationship cannot work. Baby, what are you talking about? I heard everything your mother said. Donald. I am not so much interested in getting married. Let alone get married into a family where I cannot be welcomed. Please. My peace of mind is very paramount. And that peace of mind is very important to me. Baby, listen to me, okay? You, you can't take anything my mom said seriously. You can't. She's just... She's just talking from a place of hurt, based off of past experiences. She's being emotional. I, I, I promise you, she's going to come around. I promise you. That is where the point lies. You cannot convince your mother to accept me as a daughter-in-law. If you would have to convince your mom to accept me as a daughter-in-law, that means you would have to convince her for everything. I'm sorry. Don't know. No. It's not 
man, if anything happens to my <laughs> every marriage in this family is going down. Oh. Okay. BC. Yeah, if I snatch you, <laughs> is your father at home? Please go and call him. It's, it's, it's urgent. Fast, oh. Hi. Hmm. No. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Sir, you know, it's a real now. She is very sick and she requested for your presence. Eh? Yes. Good morning. Riona is sick, sir. Where is she? She's in her house. I couldn't continue taking care of her because my husband requested for my uh, presence. Let me rush and see my husband, please. You have to go and see her now. It's a matter of urgency, please. Oh, oh, oh. I'll have to go. Uh -huh. uh, Ife? Uh, remain in the house until Ogechuku returns. Eh? Tell her I went out hmm? to see uh, Oriona as a matter of urgency. Mm. Okay? Mbani Ife? Bye bye. Bye. Very serious, so hey. Busy, busy, babe. Busy with now. I'm talking to you now, Papa. Eh? This was all the agreement we had. You said you were going to be here for like a week. What? What's up? Turn out. I cannot stay where I am not welcomed. Besides, my CDS is on Tuesday, so allow me to go take care of it. But babe, you already knew that your CDS was on Tuesday when you agreed to come on this trip. You said you were going to handle it. What changed? What, what, what's up? Everything changed. Your mother does not like me. And you cannot force her to accept me. Um, Please allow me to go. Okay, babe, babe, listen, listen, listen. It's not my mother you're getting married to, okay? It's me. Besides, you, you don't have to see her all the time. Maybe once in a very long time. Maybe during Christmas or major holidays or something. Come on, babe. Don't do this now. Donald, please. You know me. I'm a very peaceful person. I need to stay where I'm celebrated. And not where I'm tolerated, please. You see. Alara. Why were you begging her? Let her go. Right there for Naba. I'll get you somebody who will take care of you. Not that evil one. Because. Ah ah. Dora. Nah, we are not able to see. If you say Jebe, come back. Eh. She will not come here with that girl. She cannot enter here. Woman rapper, that is what you are now. Maha Pombi. Hapugi what? Hapombi. I told you I'll get you somebody better in a Buisi.
feel like I don't know this thing now, eh? You want to kill me? I've been calling your number all day and not taking my calls. I even went to your place of work and, and they said that I could not see you because, you know, you did not permit it. Don't know. There is no need seeing you. There can never be us. Your mother does not want me. It means that you, your family members don't like me. And I don't want to force myself over what will not happen. You see, listen, forget my mother's blackmail. Okay, forget all of those emotional blackmail that she's doing. Focus on me, BC. After all, I'm the person I get married to, not my mother. It's all this now. Hmm? Come on, don't, don't do this thing now. You know, no matter what you think, it's not only a man that gets married to a woman. The family members are part of the marriage. Come on. I need time to give my life a definition and also find my bearing with God. Losing you will hurt me, OBC. It will really hurt me, honestly. Don't do this thing, I'm begging you, please. It will hurt me even more to be with a man who, whose family members does not want me. I would rather spend my time working hard to satisfy the God who would love me wholeheartedly without counting my shortcomings. Do not, please. Don't ever come to my house again. Don't come to my office, please, and please, don't ever call me. Hey, you have to sit down. Take it easy on yourself. I should take it easy. So I met a woman I was finally going to get married to. She agreed to be in a relationship with me, even unto marriage. I took her to the village to meet my mother. My mother refused to accept her or even welcome her. Rejecting the idea of me marrying this girl simply because the girl just so happens to be from Ondo State and the same, you know, ethnic group as the man who murdered my father. Did your mother give you a strong reason or details on how your father's death connected to the Ondo man? Dude, what am I supposed to do with this ancient history now? Eh? He could tell me. What, what am I supposed to do with it? Well, in as much as we are in love with all ABC, we have to be very careful. Bro, listen. Mm -hmm. Please, I need you to speak to Alabi for me. Okay? Help me explain to her. Tell her that I love her. I do. And I'm not in support. Nor do I endorse this nonsense that my mother is doing. See, Baba, listen. <laughs> if I lose this girl, that, it don't be with that all. I'm done. I'm not going to go and start all over again building a relationship from ground zero. I'm not fit. I'm not fit. I'm going to do my day. I'm going to be single. Women can be insatiable. Your mother was the one insisting she get married as soon as possible to give her grandchildren. But now rejecting the girl you have choose to marry because of experience that happened more than 20 years. You're beginning to understand why this whole situation is driving me crazy. Well, don't worry. I will talk to Labisi. And if you both of you are destined to be together, then consider it success. Um, let me get something from the fridge for the bank. My 
friend, I can see that you are fully recovered from your sickness. Mm. And you did not just recover. And you also have some kind of happiness. Talk to me, what happened? Well, it's nothing serious. I'm only getting better. But did you hear from uh, Mazi of Shadulu? <laughs> I'm surprised you are the one asking after him now. Look, let me tell you, that man is indeed a very kind man. If not for him, I wouldn't have recovered this quick. Anyway, I'm happy you are the one saying this. Uh, but that, does that mean you are now giving your consent for him to be your close friend? I don't even know. You see? I am still here to recover from the shock of my bad experience. From that rape incident that deprived me of being a reverend sister. There you go Thank again. You. There you go again, my friend. The experience you had over 25 years ago. Anyway, if you ask me, giving off your doing a chance would be a relief. Eh? Hmm. That will be on one condition. Which is that he will always follow me to the chapel to pray according to my routine. <laughs> anyway, any man who is in love will do anything to keep the woman he wants. That's all I know. It's not as easy as it sounds, but I will try my best. Okay, let's what I see. Are you okay? Eh? Are you okay? Why did you keep me outside? Eh? Ha! Huh? Idiot! No nonsense! Stupid! Come, come. Leave my bag! Leave, leave my bag! Leave my bag! Leave my bag. Now you want to collect my bag. Very stupid man. Where is your master self? I, 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 idiot. Oh. Oh. What is it? Ma, what is it? I thought we agreed you are going to stay away from me because all you do is torment me. Okay, me. Torment me. God forbid. How can I torment my own child? Eh? No mother can do that now. I'm here with somebody, a warm nanny. I know the best for you now. Don't worry. Oh. Just 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 go home. Eh? Just go back, eh? Just just go Go home. Go and stay at home. Everyone's never go home. Which one is go back again? I'm not going anywhere. Eh? Nah. Biko. I don't know why you stopped me here. Come out, you don't want to come out. Come back, he stop one here. Eh? Nah. See, eh? I brought you someone that is good. Bianu so boomite boomite. I no pozen I no po. Eh wo? Ifunya? Eh wo? Her name is Odenaka. Hmm. Daughter of Masi Onyemezia. Eh? Her mother owns a restaurant. So if go near, I know what is good for you. I know she will take care of you. Wife material, hundred percent. In the mood for all of this, ma. I'm not in the mood. Oh, what is the problem now? Eh, look at the turn one. Hmm, turn one. If if we are, if we are, eh? Original copy collected by me, from me to you. Now, eh? Ne, ngwa ngwa ngwa. Carry these things inside. Oh. Don't, don't, don't worry about what he's saying. I know this is my son. I know he will like you. Hmm? Go inside and wait for me. Okay, I'll come and show you everywhere. Eh? No. I'm <laughs>
Amen. Jude, what are you doing here? What does it not to see you? Who sent you? I sent myself. So I was going to ask, why have you decided to cancel engagement with Donald, my friend? Please. Please. We cannot have this discussion right now. Donald loves you. He has genuine intention for you. The best he could have done is to slide on all roads and allow the will of God to prevail between both of you. Truth. Honestly, the will of God is that I should be on my own and then finish up my youth service. And then put all of my energies in serving God full time. And who told you that marrying Donald will make your service to God a part-time thing? See, with marriage is different. Marriage takes all of you. As a woman, you spend all of your time taking care of your husband and your children. Besides, Donald's mother does not like me. And you know it. And I can't spend the rest of my life living with a family who who does not accept me. I understand how you feel, but I want you to give this a second thought. My mind's made up. And then um, I won't be able to go back on it. Tell me the truth. Do you still love Donald? No. No. I have found a new love in Christ Jesus. Tell Donald to find another woman. His mother's choice. Judge, please, that will be the end of this conversation. I'll see you much later. Have a nice day. Hola, BC. Hola, BC, you can't just leave me here. I was looking for you, Ebony. Eh? Now nah, I tell you, Naga. Nah, eh? Eh? Hi. This your house is big, oh. Eh? Now nah, Charlie, Beba, and you are Beba. Charlie, Beba, Beba. Ma, what is this? What list, though? I don't what? understand. What? What is this? Is uh, the list of um, what the Naga's marriage rights? I negotiated and negotiated and negotiated. At some point, I said, I'm not going to go I didn't know I was a hard negotiator like that. So before her father could um, come up with this subsidized price. Ma, I'm begging you, please, just, just stop all of these things. Stop it. I'm, I'm actually fed up. Fed up with him. With eh? all of this. You have not even gotten married. You know, I said, fed up. That's the best we can get. Of all the girls, you know, you couldn't even get one person. One very sensible one to marry. Now one potter. Serious wife material. Let me put on you like I lose all this girl. I'm done with this conversation. Done with which conversation? The what can I put up here? You will not meet me when you come back. That's exactly the plan. I'm going. I'm not going. You will come and meet me here. I have a chankata. Upon eight people, I need them. Eh? 
motorcycle. Yay! Oh, God, my chief, Baba Zewakada. <laughs> 50 liters of fuel. No co fuel. Eh, eh. They call the fuel for the Okada. Call the. Well, Taram. We still look. I'm coming. What's all this? Where's your mother? Mama, eh? Mama has gone back to the village. Okay, in that case, why are you still here? Calm down. You have a very hot temper. And that's what killed my father. He developed heart failure and died. Oh, so you want to kill me too, Ba? That's your plan. Antinaka does not get angry easily. See, sir. I made Oha soup for you. I checked around your kitchen and I saw that you don't eat all these our natural food stuff. I just saw candies, candies. So I took my time and made Oha soup for you with Ogri Alo. You will love it. My friend, will you pack all of this nonsense and get out of my house? What's all this? Trust me. You will love it. What in does not cook nonsense? <coughs> Put your nose. You will love it. See, even if you don't like me, at least try and eat something so that you will gather the strength to continue to hate or not in Naka. Your food with your ogiri, it stinks. Okay? You stink. And because of that, this whole house is stinking. Please pack yourself and your everything and get out of my house, you this witch. How many times do I have to say this to you? How many times? Eh? What's that? Hmm. Indeed, the aroma is very appealing. She must be a very good cook. How are you? Mama, Mama, I'm not fine. No. I'm not fine. How can I be fine? Your son shouted on me and he called me a witch. Chai, where when you were, don't be angry, oh? What, what happened? You're not a witch, oh? Don't worry, don't mind him. Mama, I don't understand what I'm doing here. Oh. He does not like me. He said I'm dirty and smelling. My dear, if you want to get your husband's heart, hmm, you need to tolerate him. Nagidia. Oh? Mama, well, I don't think this thing is working. Oh. If it will not work, let me just go back to the village and face my POS and sewing business. Come to which village? Get okay? Don't try it. Stay there. Stay in your husband's house and possess your possession. See, eh? I, I'm in my husband's house, washing. So if I were you, I would try and wash. Wash everything washable. Huh? Nolude, Nagidia. Okay. Mwa. Bye bye. Nokwe Nata village. To do what? Which kind of possess your possession? Somebody that say I'm smelly. <laughs> <laughs> 
You say I'm dirty. I cannot deny her like this, be smelly and dirty. Let me just go. Agua Joka. Why not sit down and <clears throat> eat the food that was prepared for you? Why are you stealing the smell of food that was made for you in your house? My friend, don't be silly. <laughs> Better pack all this nonsense and get out of this house. Oh. Pack it up, pack it up and live here. You irresponsible woman. I am not irresponsible. I am not irresponsible. What kind of woman leaves her father's house and moves into a man's house uninvited? Hmm? That is because you cannot get a wife for yourself. Mommy's boy. Did mama not come to marry me on credit for you? Did mama not marry me on credit for you? Listen, let me tell you. I have a tailoring business. And a POS business that I manage like a bank manager. I left all that just to be with you. You should be grateful that I left all that to be with you. Be I'm okay, sit down and eat this food. For they will say, I, 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 I allowed hunger to kill you. Sit down and eat this food. Next thing you hear is that Odinaka allowed her husband to starve to death. Wait, did you just call me your husband? Did you just call me your husband? As in me? Hey! So you are a woman beater? That is, you want to beat Odinaka? <laughs> you act like you do not have home training. Be yeah, welcome, sit down, eat this food. Sit down and eat this food. I did not waste my, 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 my energy preparing this food for you in that kitchen. Sit down there, eat it, finish it. Let it not be heard. That I stabbed my husband to death. I don't blame you now. I can't believe. Get you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> mm? How are you? I'm okay. Welcome. How have you been? So he came to see me today. Ah, uh -uh, now. I hope I'm safe. Ah, uh -uh, you're safe. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. So, can you see the beautiful slippers? What you got for me? Are you serious? Of course, I'm serious. For you? Yes. Hey. And he also gave me 20,000 naira to get oh. anything I want. 20,000 naira? Of course. That are good news. Hey! <laughs> you're very lucky. Yes. You're very lucky with all this man. I can't wait to have my own. Uh -uh. Why would you say anything like that? <sighs> hey? I introduced you to Peter, who proposed to marry you, but you refused. Because you want to be here to leverage for your father. Shimeze came and asked for a hand in marriage. And you chased him out with the same rigid decision. Ogechi, the list of men is endless. 
Now tell me, how do you intend to collect gifts from men when you don't even give them chance in your life? But I do give men chance. Chance to do what exactly? Eh? Chance to do what? To help you reproduce in your father's house? Or chance to have all to himself? Oh, Gechi, are you a baby making machine? I already made the promise to my father. Ah. I hope to keep that promise. Then stop complaining. Besides, your father is not infertile. He can get a wife for himself. That's what all men do. Rather than cage a small promising girl. You are too small for this. You better think about it though. Ha. You know what, Lydia? Can we end this discussion? We've I'm ended sure it already. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is your boss around? Native I'm talking to you. Oga, Donald is not my boss. He's my husband, and I am his new wife. <laughs> Donald Demar told me that he's married. <laughs> Donald never told you that he's married. Yeah, yes. That's because real men mind their business. They don't talk anyhow like parrots. And why are you washing his clothes with pockets? Why not using the washing machine? Oga, okay, washing machine. If you want to use washing machine, go to your house and use washing machine. This one is the one that I know. Okay. I wonder how Donald got so blindfolded into taking a local woman for a wife. It's like something is wrong with you. Jeez. Eh? You are mad. Are you not? That is what you get for not minding your business. What are you doing with Oga, washing what machine? Go you? to your house. Ah, Why are you washing machine to wash your clothes? Why are you washing machine to wash your clothes in your house? Nonsense. What is the meaning of this? Ah. Wait, wait for this water. Wait for this water. Wait, wait for this one. Ah. How am I going to go out with this? You want water, B? Wait for this one, Mr. 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 Washing Machine. Wait for this one. Yeah, yeah, sit and live here. Yeah, sit and live here. Come on, go, go, come on, go to your house. Come on, go to your house and go and use washing machine and wash your clothes. Ah, don't you want me to wear you this bucket on your head, Abby? That's where me! Oh, 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 get you cool. Ha 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 ha. It's a Ah. Papa, welcome. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hey, what is bothering you? How was your day? Nanum. <laughs> you are bothered. Huh? Hey. And there was something to ego. Ah, oh, Lydia stopped by today and told me that what you could give her some money. So she thought it wise to share with me. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes, Papa. And she had to give you all that money. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that Lydia is, uh, she's, she's, uh, she's like a sister to you. She loves you. Huh? Papa. I am bored out. About what? All the men in this village. They are all avoiding me. Most of them do that because they don't want to have a child with me. That they will not be in the child's life. Mm. <laughs> okay, Chuku, that should not bother you. Eh? 
Some of them are doing that to cover up their irresponsibility. Father, if they're irresponsible, Father, they will not talk about marriage. They will not. Mm. Yamonte. Yeah, okay, Chuku. Yes, Papa. Okay, Chuku. Listen to me. You are my daughter. The sacrifice you are making. Our gods know about it. Our fathers here know about it. I am your father and I know about it. And I don't even know. The huge sacrifice you're making. You need to realize the whole meaning. You are trying to protect our lineage. You are trying to protect our ancestry. It's not a small thing. I love you, my daughter. I love you. And I appreciate what you are doing. Do not listen to people. Don't listen to them. Don't go back on that promise you made. You see, Kenwa. In later years, you will realize that what you are doing today is big for the family. Huh? In go one. Yes, Papa. I promise that I will always stand by you, no matter what. But just know that I'm human. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, well. Hey, 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 how dare you pour muddy water on my friend? My husband, you are welcome. What are you talking about? Odnaka, did you or did you not pour muddy water on my friend who came to visit? And please, you, you better speak the truth to, you better speak the truth before I lose it on you now. Your friend, he could not control his licking mouth. He called me Odnaka local. He called me Bush. Eh? Uh -huh. I showed him what a local woman can do. But aren't you local? No, no, look at you. You are cleaning the house. You left all of the mop paraphernalia we have there. And you're using a rag to clean the floor. Rag, Odinaka. Tell me now. How is he wrong? My husband. Because it is you. That is why I can take any form of insult from you. But I swear to God, Odinaka, I will not allow any human being to insult me or to insult you. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to the police. And I'm going to write a police report that I have an intruder in my house. That's what I'm going to do. You want to go to police? Yes. You want to go to police? Yes. For your wife, you want to go to police? Which wife? Oh, yeah, go now. Then you have to go and call my mom from the village to come and bear witness that you want to report your wife to the police. My husband, calm down. Forget about that, your friend. Go inside, go and change. 
I've prepared a very special local delicacy for you. Otinaka made roasted yam with fresh vegetables. Hmm? Go inside. Go and eat it. When you eat it, you will love it. Where did you get the money? Odinaka. Odinaka is a working class lady. Eh? Odinaka has hand work. She's not a city urchin. Please go and change and go and eat. You will love that food. When you eat it, you will lick your fingers. You will enjoy it. After licking it, you will change your mind and you will enjoy me. You see? You see? You see? You are putting water everywhere. No problem. Otinaka will clean it. It her work. Otinaka will clean it. Jude, my brother, I just wanted to say I'm sorry, okay? No vex. I apologize for the embarrassment that that local girl gave to you when you came to my house. No vex, I beg. Eh? Well, it's all right. My only concern is how could you allow such a nuisance in your house? Hmm. All of these things, my mother's uh, manipulation, all of it. She planned all of it. It has her fingerprints all over it. And you fail for it. You want your mother to suggest a wife for you in this modern age? Who tell you that life is still works like that? See, I don't know what my mother is doing and I don't, I don't care for it. Whatever the case may be, Sha, me, Donald, I'm not going to marry that girl. That's all I know. And why is she still staying in your house? Why not throw her out? You, you know how it is. I'm not, I've tried now, but I'm not the violent type. Also, it's a big house. Okay, she can stay there for as long as she likes. I'm not, I may mean, not have reason to even jam herself. You know what the kerosene does? Gradually, it will spread. And what about Labisi? Have you forgotten about her? <sighs> How now, Jude? Papa, God forbid, I don't fit now. When was the last time you contacted her? <sighs> Jude, she won't pick my call. She won't pick my call. What, 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 what I go do now? Bro. Mm -hmm. That kerosene I told you, mm -hmm. gradually, mm -hmm. it will spread to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Many witches make a decision in their coven, but it attacked them in real life. Especially those who have refused to marry, but to become their father's mistress. Oh. Did both of you just call me a witch? Huh? Did you make any covenant in any coven not to marry, but to be sleeping with your father who's imported could not make him to have a baby? How can he have a child when he already has seven children in his witchcraft movement and now he wanted to give him a son in their life? I can take any direct or indirect insult from billboards, but don't you dare bring my father into this. We all know how you love your father so much, but it's unfortunate he's cheating on you with that old woman. How, how dare you? How dare oh, you oh, accuse oh, me oh, of oh, insulting oh, my father? How oh, dare you? You're stupid! Down. Okay, calm down. The truth is that we are not happy that your father kept you at home. Yet, he services his emotion for Oriola. Okay. I mean, how can he of all people fall in love with a woman in her monopause age, yet he wants to cage a young girl like you? Huh? Okay, Chuku. Okay, come back. Is this how he goes up? 
Oh, poor. Ah, Ojemba. We need your wine. Now, this one you go out all the time like this. What time do you have to get this girl pregnant so that you will give me grandchildren? Ma, how many times do we have this conversation? I'm, I'm tired of talking about this, Ma. Why don't you please just go back home and give me breathing space? I'm, I'm tired. Tired of what? Anyway, I come in peace. I have come for you to refund me the money I paid on your behalf to marry your wife. You know you married her on credit. I came to your rescue. Ma, I don't I don't have I don't have the energy for this. I don't have the energy for the I don't. I don't. Do you use muscle to pay back? Is it no money? In short. Before you tell me you don't usually carry cash around. That we are running a cashless society. Do transfer. Melon transfer. Now why are you doing this now? Why isn't this your only child? It's not even why are you frustrating me like this? You! What you're doing is it good? No, 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 no. Eh? What you are doing to me, is it good? All my mates in the village have all gone for Mugo several times. No labor. And you have refused to marry. Ah, is it good? Ma, I brought home a girl to get married. Which girl? Yes. On your friend, man? That girl. Why, Yoruba? Exactly. I brought her home to marry oh. her. You refused to approve of it. You absolutely refused. And so you have condemned me to a life of being single. So if you really, really want grandchildren like that, feel free to go and adopt to come out there. Yeah? Oh. Okay, okay, you're working out on me. Where are you? Hey. Chiniki, Charati. It's obvious force is not working on this, my son. Hmm. I have to devise other means. Mama. Huh? Which other means do you want to try? <sighs> Go and bring me that palm wine I brought from the village. Go, go. Could it be that my own father has been deceiving me all this while? Could it be that it is just his own interest he wants to protect, yet he made me swear in the presence of Osamalu, the goddess of longevity and procreation? What did I do not to love and care for my father's happiness to the point of people tagging us incestuous? Mommy. Mommy, what is it? Are you crying? Talk to me. Where are you coming from, Father? Welcome, Papa. Where are you coming from? What kind of question is that you get to be? I trusted you, Father. 
all you do is deceive me. You make me stay at home just to make babies for you. And all you do is to go around sharing emotions with Oriona. Oh, Father. What's that? What is it? Okay, Chugo. Who have you been talking with? You made me believe that you lost emotions after my mother's death. You made me swear to stay at home just to make sure I have babies, sons for you, who will take up for you when you are no more. Father, I accepted and kept myself putting my emotions in check just to fulfill your promise that is eventually becoming impossible because no man no man will want to have a child he will not have custody of the only man that have ever slept with me never get me pregnant father why me? And the only man who got you pregnant left you when you had the accident that nearly claimed your life. Then why cage me? Why cage me all this why? When you know the son is not forthcoming. Why father? Since you know you will fall in love eventually with a woman. Why not do it earlier and have a son? Why, father? But no. You choose to cage me in this bondage. There are plenty of women out there who could have jumped into your arms and opened their legs wide for you until they give you a male child. Why cage me? Why keep me in this bondage? Why are you doing this to me, father? Until now, only to fall in love with a woman who is fast approaching to her monopers. Hey, father, you disappoint your daughter. I am heartbroken. How could you do this to me, father? How? Okay, Chuku. Oh, get you cool. If I to your mother promised to give birth to children before she died, well, that was not to be. She died giving birth to you. A female child. You were a reincarnation of your mother. Yes. And that's why you show me unmitigated love. Love of a daughter to her father. The love of even a wife to her husband. Yes, we do not share conjugal love. You went ahead and gave me a promise to preserve our posterity. I'm holding you to that promise. That promise never Changes. Everything has changed, Father. Destiny does not change. Forgive my emotions, my flirtations with Oriana. 
if you must be with her. Release me, father. Release me. Release me now. Eh? Release your daughter, Okechiku. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, Ma, don't, don't. Ma, what do you want? What, do you, Ma, what is all this now? What do you want? Aren't you tired of tormenting me? Tormenting what? Hey, how can I torment my own son? Hey, that would be too harsh. Yeah? I'm sorry for what happened. Oh? I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't know why this is so hard for you people to understand. My, I want Olabisi, not Odinaka. No. I did not come here for us to talk about women. I came to apologize for whatever I have done wrong to you. I'm sorry. Oh? Biko. You used some, use some very hard words, though. some words that were very corrosive to me. Corrosive. Corrosive. <laughs> That's why I brought them away. The woman Biko, forgive me. I will not talk like that again. No. What? No. I will not talk. You know, I don't have um, I don't have brain for alcohol. But because of this one, I'll drink. And no more. <laughs> to peace. Mm. I'm so, so sorry. Mm. I should put more for you. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, now that you're smiling, mm. I think I should tell you the story of your birth and how your father died. This. What, what are you doing here? I'm sleeping. So, what do you mean you're sleeping? Don't you have a room that you can sleep in? I wanted to sleep in my husband's room, and that's what I did. <sighs> Why are you acting like you did not enjoy what happened last night? When you were tossing me from side to side on this bed. You are indeed a strong man. Go, 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 go. leave my room. Just, just, just go. Just go right now. Go. Okay, Nafia. Why were you shouting? Ma, huh? I don't, I don't know what she's doing here, but I really, really, really need for her to go. I don't know why she's here in the first place. <laughs> Which one is really, really, really? Huh? Wicked that wine does not fail. Well, she came to sleep in her husband's room. Uh, why are you opening your eyes? You were so sober last night. Where we go now? Ah, where are you going? What are you hiding? Eh? Where are you hiding it from? What's happening? Where are you going? I'm going back to my husband's house. Okay, Simna. 
Ah. Uh, so, in that case, what is she still doing here, holding broom? I thought we had talked about this. No, I don't remember us reaching any kind of conclusion on this issue. What other conclusion are we talking about? When you slept with her in your room last night? Ma, please, she should be going. Eh? She should go. Come on, come on, come on, go in. I'm going to go in. The part, don't, eh? If you touch her, it becomes more problems. Ha, because. So, so what do we do now? Where do we go from here? Um, she will, she will come back, but not today. Mm. Mm. When? There's actually an injection she's taking to flush out what you deposited in her. Once everything is flushed, on not mm. uh, mm. 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 Come on, big girl. Come on, come on, big girl. Uh, my husband, my husband. Which husband? Bro, I'm not. Let me tell you, stay. Stay where? In which house? My is this one? house. Which husband? Are we married? This is my husband. I'm, I'm, here. Here. I'm not going anywhere. Follow her. Follow her. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Leave me alone. Follow her. Leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, I'm not joking with you. Leave me alone. You like it on the ground. Which ground? Which ground? Who? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. See this girl. I didn't ask you to clean any house. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go to your, 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 parents, your parents' house. If you want to drag your... I don't want to leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere now. You want me to go outside and call the gate man to come and drag you out, Ali? Is that what you want? Is this Mama's house? My house. My house. My house. I want to stay with you. I want to stay with you. The mama people. I have no place in my house. You think I'm playing? You tell me whether it's my mother you want to marry or it's me you want to marry. My mother, my mother said what? My mother said what? What did my mother say? She did not have Come here, come here. Please now, stop. I don't want to go now. I don't want to go. So you want to stay where? I don't want to go. Okay. Let's build oh. this home together now. Please. Okay, okay. Please. Okay, okay. Please. Please take this woman out of this house and I don't ever want to see her inside here again. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Please, leave me, leave me, leave me. Please move out. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, Madam, 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 wait, Madam, Madam, wait, 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 Donuts, you can't keep running back to me like a helpless puppet. What do I go do now? No, what am I supposed to do? This is my mother we're talking about here. 
Your mother knows that you are naive and weak. And she's using it against you. I stop that nonsense, I beg. Stop it. I'm only trading with caution because it's my mother. Come on. And any caution you trade at the expense of your peace is weakness. Anyway, me, I've moved out of that house, Sha. I've moved out. <clears throat> when hungry, can't that be? She'll come out by herself. In the meantime, I can't like, stay for your place now. Even if it's like a week or something. Hmm? You know it's not possible. You can't stay in my house. What will I tell my wife and children? Bro, what, what are friends for now? Papa. Friends are made to help each other. And the best I can offer you is to pay you to be a man. Gather your boss. Put your house in order. And decide on whom to say to for. And go for her. You already know it's busy. You already know. Then go for her. Why are you wasting time? <sighs> she help me talk to her. Eh? She Maybe we should buy something for her. Maybe like a gift. Maybe this time around it will you know, soften her up. And I don't know. See, I am out of here, Donald. Whenever you are ready, I will know. Nasu, kind of wow. Papa, why are you doing like this now? Yeah, I'm not going back to your house. Try to see the details. Where are you now? Please, we'll be late to. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, it has been it has been long. I've not been seeing your friend. Do you know his whereabouts? Hmm. Well, we wonder why you suddenly care about him. I don't really know. Hmm? But he's human. And he promised to always follow me to the church to pray at the chapel. But for some time now, he's not becoming. I'm worried. So are you now saying that if he didn't, if he didn't join us, that he will not come pray for It's not a must that he will join us. But I just hope you understand the importance of prayers. That's all. OK. Ah, look who we have there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. Hey, you, hey, hey, hey. We are just talking about you and you walked in immediately. Ah. Hey! Ah! I must be an important person. Mm -hmm. So, what were you discussing about me? I only say that it has been long. You have not followed me to the chapel to pray. That's all. He <laughs> mean, Ilya? <laughs> so that means I'm important too. Eh? It means you have missed me. You're also missing my body. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm here. Immediately. Oh, ah. my uh, What are you waiting for now? You can join us now. You want to go to the shop to pray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Listen to me, Olavi. I am not leaving your house unless you promise me that you will go and see Donald and talk things out. What are you saying, Jude? Why are you making me look evil? No, you are not evil. But you need to see the helpless and erect situation you put my brother into. Donald is gradually getting thin. He's becoming a shadow of himself. And how is that my fault? Listen, I'm already making arrangements to go to St. Monica's convent to enroll for sisterhood. Please, I am not ready for all this relationship nonsense. No matter what it is, I insist you go and see Donald. Maybe after the meeting, your spirit can align with the outcome of the meeting. Then you can follow your heart. Please. Oh, no, please, Drew, please. Stand up, please sit down. You're embarrassing me. <sighs> okay. I'll go and sit down. Just this once. Better, please. Mm. 
Donald, tell me, what responsible man will run away from his house and come stay for a hotel, leaving his house for a stranger? Bro, you don't understand, okay? In as much as I love my mom and I don't want to, like, hurt her feelings or whatever, I, I don't want to set my eyes on that girl again before I do something that I'll truly regret. You sound even more like a coward. Since you don't want to touch her, why not call the police and throw her out of your house? Rather than come here to stay in a hotel for two weeks and still counting. You're right though, you're right. Thank you. So do you like have any police station that you can suggest or something? You are just naive. And that is why your mother is taking advantage of your naivety to mess around with you. And for your information, you better check out of this hotel. I went to see Olabisi and she promised to come around so that both of you can trash things out. You wouldn't want her to come and see that dirty woman in your house. You know the impression it will create. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Don't worry, I would I would move out of the hotel like as soon as possible, literally, maybe tomorrow, later today. You better. so confused please Lord speak to me this last time speak to me this last time please Lord speak Marriage. One day everything got better. Hello? Mm -hmm. My POS money. I want it to show in my account in the next 30 minutes. Mm -mm. In the next 30 minutes, if you delay police, so you know me. Uh -huh. My husband is here. Let me call you back. What are you still doing in this house? You, this wicked woman. Why are you still here? So you thought hunger will kill a working class lady like me, eh? You lie. Well, you came on time. I still have small chicken. Take and chop. Five minutes, Odnaka. You have five minutes to pack whatever it is you brought into this house and leave. 
or I'm going to go and bring the police to arrest you. I am calling the police. You so want to call police for Obviously, that's the only thing that you understand. Why are police? police? What do you want? What are you looking for? Shameless liar. You slept with me. You got me pregnant. And then you run away for two weeks without caring how I'm faring. And then you come back here. Instead of you to make things work so that this baby will settle down in my womb, you want to drive me out. Drive me out, let me see now. If you like, go and call Annie. I'm not going anywhere. My husband's out. Which I'm husband? carrying your child. Which husband? You are Which my child? husband. See, I'm carrying your child. I'm not going anywhere. Uh -uh. What is it? This is man. Look. I am warning you. You better get out of this house before I come back here. No, no, I'm coming back to the police. I'm not even no, joking. No, 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 I'm not joking. I'm coming back to the police. Why are you going to do it? You see? That's pregnant for you. You come back. Let me know I won't give myself. I said, two weeks, I said, two You're still here. Where she came from, I don't know and I don't want to know. But the next time I see this girl in my house, I'm going to shoot her. 
What did she do? Ah, uh, uh, Donna. Come back, oh, come back, come okay. back, come and carry me. You will not leave me here. I'm your wife. Give me, me. Mama, nothing, 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 not do anything. <laughs> no, no, come and carry me, come and carry me. This one you're naked. Oh, you're naked and okay. No, I don't know what is wrong with him, Mama. No. Yeah. Nah, me, I will not stay here. I will not stay here. I want to go back and meet my husband. Get up, get up. But then, yeah, my husband. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You will go and meet him. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're here. Don't worry. Beba, beba. Ah, 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 ah. You didn't do anything. Don't go back carry me now. Yeah, no, no, beba. Oh, no. Mama, me, I don't like this kind of. I don't like it too. Come, 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 come. You see, my dear, um, I, I won't be able to always accompany you to do these prayers in the chapel. Are you tired already? Remember, you promised to always accompany me to the church. Yes, I promised. And uh, I always fulfill my promise. But in this case, I, I have run into problems. And the problems are, arise from complications I'm beginning to have with my daughter at home. So I need to... I need to have a peaceful home huh? before anything. Okay, no problem now. I understand. Take this. It's a gift from me. Use it to pray always when we are not together. Always use it for your prayers when we are not together. anything to him. I did not do anything to him at all. Dodo just left me in the house for two weeks, two good weeks. I beg Oje. I don't know. He did not even call to check up on me, to check up on the baby in my womb. He just came back from nowhere and said, I should pack my things and I should leave the house. Just like that? Just like that. Oh, no, no. When I refused, he my one woman just came and bundled me and pushed me outside of the air, put me inside the car. I go to one woman again. My son was not like that, though. Eh? It's okay. Won't it? It's okay. Don't mind him. He is still my son. You know what? He is my son. I still have a tight grip on him. Don't worry. Mama, if you see how they pushed me, if you see how they beat me, okay. even with the child I'm carrying in my womb, then if I will consider me. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you, okay, welcome. Eh? Oh, 
so, Doctor, how, how is she? Is she okay? Eh? Is she be okay? Just calm down. Nothing will happen to her. She only suffered shock and some bruises too. And uh, from my observations, she's going to be fine. We just have to get her temperature stable for now. Okay, so can I go and see her now? Um, sure. My sure. daughter! My daughter! Where is my daughter? My daughter is fine. She's fine. Where is my... She's... Go get you. Hey man, what did he say happened? Bro, I, I could not believe my eyes when I saw her like this. When he saw who? Okay, Chuku, she's still alive, man. What? I'm telling you, she's still alive. Ooh. Okay, Chuku is still alive. Bro, I swear to you, man. I... Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Please don't believe her. You abandoned me. Okay, Chuku, I was in a coma for months. By the time I woke up, I didn't know what was happening. I lost track of time. I thought you were in another hospital. And when I reached out to everybody and I couldn't find you, I thought you, I thought you had died. So do I. I woke up inside the morgue and couldn't find anybody. I found my way out of the hospital and ran away that night. My father found me and took me to a rehab center to help me heal my emotional shock and trauma. I understand you, honestly. I do. I mean, months after I'd completely healed from the accident, anytime I hear talk of an accident or see an accident, I have this intense emotional response. I had to forget everything that happened. Because of my emotional trauma and emotional destabilization, it causes me whenever I remember it. Just like you. I also lost my phones and every means of contact. You know, I looked for you. I actually did. I looked everywhere. I asked up and down. Nobody seemed to know where you were or anything about you. And so I just... I gave up and I moved on. So about your moving on? How is your wife and children? Why? I'm not married. You're not married?
Okay. Sit down. Thank you. Welcome to my home. Indeed, you have moved on. You're doing well for yourself. Yeah. I mean, look at me in this very big house, and yet it's empty. Just me. Anyway, tell me, okay, um... Are you married? Not yet. Hmm. I doubt if I will ever get married. Why did you say so? I lost everything. Every emotions with the accident. The only thing I did not lose was Ife Sinachi. Hmm. The only thing that reminds me of my first love. Okay, what do you mean? I never knew I was pregnant before the accident. Ife Sinachi is your daughter. Wait, so I, I would have killed my own daughter? That was not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that Ife Sinachi is our daughter. We had her together. I think it's time to accept that this love thing is not for me. My God and fate did not destine me to marry any man. This is just the truth. I would rather go back and be steadfast in what I chose to do. I have decided to follow Jesus and be married to him all my life. Father Lord, I dedicate myself as a handmaid unto you, O Lord. Accept me, Father, and do with me according to your will. Amen. I have heard all you said, and I thank you for coming. But you see, Oge Chuku cannot be married to you or to any man for that matter. Of course, she can have as many children as she desires with you. But she cannot be your wife. I'm sorry, sir, but I, I don't understand you. We had an elaborate ritual in this family which made it possible that Ogechuku was married back into the family in much the same way as both of you had an accident which nearly claimed our life but saved the life of the child in her womb. This is very confusing, Uncle. Explain even better. <laughs> Listen, my children. But what kind of barbaric custom or tradition is that one? Eh? Listen, Oji. A lot of ancient custom has been modernized. The ones that could not meet up with the modern day civilization has been abolished totally. 
Um, see, my hands are tied. I keep having these feelings that if I go against my oath, something terrible will happen. You have grown past all this. See, I will call my father to tell me what to do in a situation like this. What cannot have solution is death. It's very delicious. Yeah. Brianna, hmm? why are you dragging your feet over Ophir Dolo's proposal? Hmm. My dear, I don't really know you. I don't know. Accept his proposal and they join marriage with him now. Hmm? Do you know that the other day he came to my house and brought a basket with gifts saying that uh, if I don't want his proposal, I should keep the basket to myself. But if I do want his proposal, I should turn the basket to his house as a sign of acceptance. So have you returned the basket in acceptance? No. What are you waiting for? I want to do that, but I am nervous. Hmm. First thing tomorrow morning, return that basket to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nah, uh, you really give this food your best. Mm -hmm. mm. If you're nah, uh, who gives you, my friend? This is the best moment and the best opportunities in your life. Truth means that immediately I saw Donald, I got consumed with emotions. But the same feelings we used to share swept off my feet. Then go back to him. Regenerate your love and give your daughter Ife Snatchi a refined life. Please. What happens to my father? What happens to him? He should go back and marry his love, Oriana. Why you marry Donald? What is even wrong with you, Seth? Ha! Please. Hmm? I don't want all this to hurt you, please. I just want a better life for you. Hmm? I cannot do this anymore, Father. I have said my own, that is final. I cannot do this. Ah, what is this? I cannot do this anymore, Father. Please, I cannot continue. Please. Let us break the oath. Come on, come on. Please, my daughter. Eh? Secretly with Oriana, right? After you have promised to be celibate after mother's death. See, I am only concerned about what will happen to you. Okay? Father, let us break this oath. Because the yeah, no, no. Break it so that all of us will be free. Yeah? Father, please now. Let me be your wife. You both are perfect together. Father, release me. I beg you. Release me from this cage. Ma. Ma? Uncle, is this your house? Well, yes, in a way. Actually, my mom lives here. It's her house, actually. But um, don't worry, I'll take you to my own personal house soon. Huh? Hey, wait. Oh, no, she's not around, so. Oh. Uh -huh. I said it. I saw you outside. I said, uh -uh. this looks like my son's car. My big man. That kind of car, eh? It's <laughs> everywhere. Ma. Uh -huh. And, uh, Welcome. Be no more, man, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ma. Hey. Ma, you remember her now? I don't know. She looks familiar, but I. Ah, ah. My friend, my old friend from way back, the one I had the accident with. 
Mm -hmm. ah, I thought she, they said she died. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, it's a long story. <laughs> we know your mom. <laughs> Thank God I'm alive. Thank God, too. Yeah. Thank God. Who is she? Mama, I'm sorry. Mama, I'm sorry. Donna? Ma. So I had a grandchild all this while. Ma, I was extremely surprised myself. Considering the way everything played out. Hmm. So Nam. Ma. When, when are you getting married to her? <laughs> so, so you came back to this village and you did not let me know. You abandoned your pregnant wife. Pregnant girl, will you shut up? Come on, shut up and get out of here. Mama, it's me, oh. Who are you? Odi. Now it's Megini. Now I'm going to Eh? Will you get out? Leave my house, oh, son. Huh? Is it not the small acting we were acting? So that I, I can frame my son, son up to, to get married. That is what you have taken serious. Eh? If I strap you. Eh? Is this listening at this compound, bro? What's that? Mommy, who is she? I don't know. I don't know. Mom, I'm, I'm pregnant for your soul. Pregnant for what? So I'm carrying your baby. You took a mwagola. Mom, you can't do this to me. I'm carrying your daughter's child. What's going on? Who don't know what? Get off. Mama! Mama, I'm not in Naka. I'm not in Naka. Which other Naka? Get off. You say you're my police. You say you're my police. Get off. Press stop. We don't know. Get out. Get away. Mama, mama, get mama, out. Mama. What do you mean? Get out. Mama, Come on. Mama, mama. Get out. Dada, Bukwa, get there. Dada, Bukwa. Go back to your POS business. Idiot. Let me not see you here again. No. Let me not see you here again. Nenia, go and do your sewing. Eh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nemo. Don't mind her. Don't mind her. She's learning how to do things. <laughs> eh. Eh. No. Ne kwa na hanya bikun. Eh? Eh. You know you have not told me your plans. <laughs> Nem date. Nem date. Ma will talk about it. Don't worry. You need to wait for the mother to so that she'll come and tell you about the procedures and the requirements. Okay. Thank you. And after that? Um, after that, you'll be enrolled to the school. Hmm. Lord, I am grateful for granting me this opportunity to serve in your vineyard. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Can we go in? Hey, where is Sister Rebecca? Where have you been all these years? This is my hometown. I had to return home since I could not achieve my dreams of becoming a Reverend Sister. Jesus Christ, what a coincidence. And uh, who is this? Hey, it's Mazi of Yadimu. You know, I decided to get married. So we came for marriage classes. Good morning, sisters. We need to talk. Oh, we need to talk. Come and see me. Hola, this This is your mother. What? Yes. She brought you to our church orphanage home 27 years ago. I don't understand. She brought me to the church of an age home and abandoned me. Why? I wanted to become a reverend sister. I was attending classes. Then one day, I was raped 
Mm. When I went for an evangelism and I got pregnant, as a result of the rape, I gave birth to you. She couldn't bear the pains. And it is against the convent rule for a woman with a child to be obtained as a reverend sister. My dear, that was why I kept you in the orphanage and went back to the village and prayed to God to guide you to achieve what I could not achieve. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Oh, please, me. I'm begging you. You do not have to beg me. I have, like, practically looked for you everywhere. I have <laughs> looked for you everywhere, mother. I'm sorry. For the past 27 years of my life, I have been begging God to help me to find my mother. Please find a place you have to forgive me, please. <laughs> oh, God. I thank you for helping me, for helping me reunite with my mother and also helping me to enroll in the sisterhood. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Mom, please, you do need to cry, please. You do not need to cry at all. Thank 